Once the CASP genotyping reactions are completed and the resulting fluorescence has been measured, it's necessary to interpret the raw data to enable genotypes to be assigned to the DNA samples. This is typically achieved by viewing the fluorescence values for each sample on a Cartesian plot. The FAM fluorescence will be plotted on the x-axis and the hex fluorescence will be plotted on the y-axis. The fluorescence from each individual DNA sample is represented as an independent data point on the Cartesian plot. The sample that is homozygous for the A allele has a genotype AA, and therefore only FAM fluorescence has been generated during CASP. This data point will be plotted close to the x-axis representing a high FAM signal and no hex signal. The sample that is homozygous for the C allele has the genotype CC, and therefore only hex fluorescence has been generated during CASP. This data point will be plotted close to the y-axis, representing a high hex signal and no FAM signal. The sample that is heterozygous has a genotype AC, meaning that half the DNA in the sample contains the A allele and half the sample contains the C allele. As a result, the sample has generated half as much FAM fluorescence and half as much hex fluorescence as the samples that are homozygous. This data point we plotted in the center of the plot representing half FAM and half hex signals. To ensure the reliability of the results, a CASP reaction without any template DNA must be included as a negative control. This is typically referred to as a no template control, or NTC. The NTC will not generate any fluorescence, and the data point will therefore be plotted at the origin. CASP reactions are performed in plate format, and typically 96-well or 384-well reaction plates are used. In LGC Biosearch Technologies Laboratory, our high-throughput instrumentation also allows us to run CASP in 1536-well plates. All samples that have the same genotype will have generated similar levels of fluorescence and will therefore appear close together on the plot. Based on the relative positions of these clusters, it is possible to determine the genotypes of all the data points. It's typical to use different colors to distinguish each genotype. Once the plot has been reviewed, the clusters have been identified, analysis for this CASP reaction plate is complete, and the genotypes for all the samples have been determined. The high level of specificity in the CASP genotyping chemistry ensures clear and reliable results. This specificity is achieved via the competitive nature of the allele-specific primers and the use of a modified TAC polymerase. Both of these ensure that the amplification and resultant fluorescent signal are highly dependent on the alleles present. This means that CASP chemistry gives a greater than 99.8% genotyping accuracy based on independent measurements and offers an industry-leading conversion rate from validated polymorphism to robust genotyping assay. The CASP genotyping chemistry features in over 2,000 publications to date. CASP assays can be designed to genotype a range of polymorphisms, primarily SNPs and indels from a few bases in length to a kilobase or larger. As CASP is a PCR-based chemistry, it can be performed using a wide range of platforms, including qPCR machines, PCR blocks, and plate readers. CASP genotyping is typically performed in 96-well or 384-well plates, thereby avoiding the restrictions of array or chips. This means that a single plate can run containing multiple assays, or the samples can be genotyped for a single polymorphism, or any combination in between. Consequently, CASP is suitable for running anything from a handful of samples on a qPCR instrument to thousands of samples in a day using Biosearch Technologies' SNPline platform. CASP is a PCR-based chemistry combining unlabeled primers with a universal reporting system, thereby avoiding the cost associated with fluorescently labeled probe assays. CASP reactions can be easily run in your laboratory without the need for specialist equipment. Biosearch Technologies' SNPline platform and 1536 well plates can run reduced CASP reaction volumes down to one microliter. Whatever the scale of your project, CASP genotyping chemistry enables you to generate more genotyping data from your budget.
BioSearch Technologies has a friendly and accessible scientific support team. The team has over 50 combined years of genotyping experience. The scientific support team are always happy to answer any questions about CASP chemistry or to help with troubleshooting. This comprehensive technical support has helped CASP genotyping chemistry gain thousands of satisfied customers from around the world.